Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, September 1st, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. Hello. Here's the plant taking my role on camera for today. We may get some wolf. She's hovering. Uh, she's hovering on standby to take over. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, rabbit to September 1st. And our energy mantra for today is my wholeness. Holiness is my personal responsibility. So it's rare that I get a whole day to do nothing. And today was one of those lazy cat, full moon over, I don't have much to do kind of days. And I wasn't going to record. And then I looked at the astro and I was like, oh, it's September 1st. Ah, we have these things. And I was like, oh yeah. And I have my, <laughs> to upload my video for September for patrons. So here I am. I have shown up, but I'm doing just a little less. Just to share, because people ask, I really do love showing up daily because this is my time of being such an open channel of listening, of allowing the magic of the universe to flow through me. And so while it has that level of responsibility to show up, it's so wonderful to be here. So that is why I show up. So here I am doing a little less on an interesting rabbit, 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 September 1st, Friday. Um, today we have the moon finishing up in Pisces, moving into Aries fairly early in the morning, 6.25 a.m. Pacific time. We have the moon moving into Aries. Uh, before that, you may have just some of these finishing energies of this Piscean energy coming up, coming through. Just be aware, maybe in dream time, some of the energies that you're going to be working with over the next six months till our new moon in Pisces in 2024. But with the moon moving into Aries and it being a September day, or September 1st, <laughs> September day, it's because it's September. September 1st, it's a great initiatory energy. So even though we're still a little bit on the full moon over energy, today's a great day to start something, especially something fun, something you love. This will feed into that Venus retrograde finishing up that is happening to help implement new ways of moving forward. September, September, focused on September. Uh, Venus is going direct on Sunday. Woohoo! So exciting. Um, so just keep that in mind, especially through this moon in Aries over the next few days. What do I want to initiate? How do I want to move forward with this energy? Now what is a little wonk today is we have a few Mars connections. With the moon in Aries and then these Mars energies might feel a little like discombobulated and be finding new balance within ourselves. We have the moon opposite Mars. So moon in Aries, Mars in Libra. And this may be mimicking some of our south node, north node lessons. Um, lessons around who we are, how we're being called to show up, how we can show up for ourselves, how we can find that balance and harmony within ourselves. Anytime we have the moon and Mars, we can find ourselves feeling a little frustration. So recognize that. Now, the next transit might be where we are experiencing the, trans, the, the frustration. Um, we have Mars in conjunct Saturn. So an in conjunct, like I always say, is like not really seeing eye to eye. These planets don't know how to exactly work together. These signs aren't really working so well together. Mars in Libra, like I said, is trying to find that harmony. It's trying to find that balance. And Saturn has that call to purpose, the call to responsibility. And here's where I think it gets a little wonky. For so many of us, that call to responsibility is something outside of us. I think the true calling of Saturn is the blueprint responsibility, the divine holiness responsibility. Plant is blowing in the breeze and agreeing with me. So <laughs> plant is like, yes, my being is my responsibility. So we're a little discombobulated with, how, that's the word of the day apparently, with how to find that balance between the world responsibilities, how 
we need to show up in the world right now to make money or what have you, uh, make money, feed ourselves, get the rest you need, all of that with this divine calling that you feel deeper within you that may not always feel like you have the time to show up for it or whatever. So we're feeling a little, a little rub there. Now, hopefully some of the clearing energy of this full moon is helping provide space for you to be able to show up for that divine calling. But part of it is recognizing the responsibility you have to your wholeness, to your holiness, and making a commitment to that energy. And I think that's where we'll start to find the balance is when you can follow through with action on that commitment. And when you start following through with action on that commitment, I think that you're going to start to feel some of that balance, some of that centering that may have eluded you. So I didn't pull as many cards as usual, but what a divine trio we have here. I got the playfulness, we have the inner voice, and we have the silence. Take a little time for that silence. Take a little time to connect in. Talk to God. Talk to the universe. Talk to Source. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Talk to whatever it is for you. Connect to that energy and listen. Not just talk. Let's find let's find that balance. Um, talk and listen, and make time for that play. That's part of I think this commitment that Venus finishing up this retrograde process in Leo is begging for us to do, to remember our inner child, to remember the play, to remember the goodness, to bring some color <laughs> into your life. Uh, I've been criticized in the past that my this is too busy, but this is me. This is joy. This is play for me to have color, to have vibrance, to be surrounded by this. This is life to me. For others, it's not quite like this, and that's okay, but... <laughs> You do you, boo, is what I'm hearing. Find what feels like that vitality. Find what feels like that beauty for you to connect into. I also pulled from, thank you, computer, uh, the Muse Tarot. I pulled just one card because I felt like doing something a little different. And I pulled the Emperor. And the Emperor, to me, is a reminder that you have authority that you need to exercise, exercise, bring forth, bring forth that energy within you. And I love this little piece in here in the write-up. The lights serve as a reminder that there's a symphony of life around them and a bigger plan that's not always evident from every vantage point. So step forward. Step forward and take a look in a different direction sometimes. You have the authority to move yourself the way you need to move. Oh look, she looks like she's kind of in a tutu. Um, anyway, you do you, boo. That's the universe's version right now. So that is it for today. I thought this was gonna be shorter. I'm chatty. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Happy September. Um, you can email me, book a reading. Besides this, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. You have the authority. And remember who you are. Namaste.